The last one week has brought a silver lining to a number of players in the value chain. School uniform traders, booksellers and transport operators are making a kill from the back-to-school rush. Dennis Otieno is in the Central Business District and now tells us more from there. Dennis, good afternoon. It's good to see you. How is the situation happening right now and what is the latest? Well, uh, very good morning. Uh, very good afternoon to you, uh, Trevor. We are here at uh, the Savannah's uh, Book Center, and uh, these are just uh, some of the dealers uh, who are dealing in uh, stationery, uh, uniform, and other school supplies. And generally, they, they are all upbeat now, especially after uh, their businesses, uh, especially after nearly a nine-month lull that had been occasioned uh, by the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, Trevor, we all uh, understand that uh, this optimism uh, was actually reinforced uh, yesterday when uh, the Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi, together with the, uh, the Education uh, CS uh, Professor George Magoa and other uh, notable CSs, uh, clearly uh, uh, assured parents that uh, the school reopening uh, will proceed as planned. And uh, clearly, uh, dealers uh, such as uh, Savanis and uh, other outlets are looking forward uh, to uh, some good business going forward. But uh, clearly, as we all know, uh, since uh, mid-March uh, last year, uh, many of these outlets have hardly sold uh, any school supplies as a result uh, of uh, the uh, school closure by the government uh, to contain uh, the spread of COVID-19. But just to uh, give us a feel of how our business has been, I'll just uh, speak to uh, one of the managers here at uh, Savani's to tell us uh, how our business has been uh, since uh, school's reopening uh, this morning. Gideon, can you? Now, Trevor, uh, Gideon uh, is just uh, one of uh, the officials here who will just tell us uh, how business has been uh, since uh, uh, schools are reopened uh, this morning. Kindly tell us uh, your full name and uh, the role that you play here at uh, Savannah. All right. My name is 17 Gideon Kemo. I'm a sales representative here for the last eight years uh, until up to date. Yeah. So, Gideon, kindly tell us uh, clearly. Uh, everyone, okay, uh, the learners are excited, but then again, uh, for you, uh, dealers uh, of uh, uh, books and uh, other stationaries uh, for school uh, going, going kids, how has business been generally? Well, uh, um, things have not really been that good, you know, since this thing started. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, well. Uh, when the pandemic started, uh, well, uh, on March, everything went down because nobody expected this to happen. So business has been really down, you know, no movement, no activity, you know. So, well, uh, it's been by, God, by God's grace that you really, uh, you, have, you have survived. But right now, we thank God, everything is getting back to life. Life is springing forth, you know. There's a lot of activity, as you can see, a lot of movement, you know. Everybody is happy. So we expect this will go on countrywide. And so far, so good. We thank God for everything. But but just uh, looking at that particular period, I mean, uh, since the government announced, uh, you know, the closure of all schools uh, just to contain uh, the spread of COVID-19, um, I just wanted to know, what were you guys doing then? I mean, uh, clearly, uh, were you getting any orders at that time? And if so, maybe how was business generally? Well, to be sincere, everything was tough. It was a very, very tough season. Actually, we have never experienced something like this. It's something that just... just out of the blues, you know, we are just re uh, uh, like watching the movies about pandemics, or maybe uh, 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 maybe reading books about pandemics. Yeah, I mean, we have never experienced something like this. I think it's the first time most of people, I think, our generation, we have experienced something like this. I mean, it was tough. It was tough for everybody, you know, especially for the book industry. It was really tough. So, well, uh, uh, there was no movement, no activity. Actually, if you could have visited us, like. Uh, maybe like a month ago, there was no one in this place. Only staff sitting down, you know, just hoping for the best, you know. But we thank God right now. Uh, we can see uh, there's a flow. People are all over, all over. People are happy, excited, you know. And we thank God. So far, so good, yeah. Okay. Now, clearly we know um, uh, we are yet to shrug off uh, the effects of this pandemic. And um, it's still on. No one knows uh, when uh, COVID-19, uh, uh, the government will announce that uh, we've, uh, uh, the country has actually managed to flatten the curve. But I just wanted to know, now that 
when you look at parents, clearly you see that um, very few of them, in fact a majority, have got, um, in terms of uh, disposable income, not so many people have got uh, money right now, clearly. And I just wanted to know, are you guys uh, having maybe some sort of discounts to lure, you know, more parents and uh, guardians to come uh, to shop, or how are you attracting uh, the customers now? Well, uh, we understand that it's been hard for everybody. Uh, it's also for us as staffs, you know. We also uh, uh, underwent the same hit, you know, um, like uh, salary cut, you know. So, well, uh, what we're doing actually, uh, we understand that uh, we're all going through this, not only for the booksellers. Uh, generally, yes, it's global, something global. So, well, uh, um, we are kind enough if maybe someone uh, asks for a discount. We are kind enough to offer discounts to our customers because actually most of our customers have been here for ages. You know, uh, we've been here for the last 50, uh, 50 years, 50 decades operating uh, uh, the, uh, the books business. So we understand our customer and we understand that actually uh, it's a tough season, it's challenging. So we are kind enough like to offer discounts to our customer. Um, if customer um, a request for discount. We definitely do give discount to our customers. Uh, indeed, it's going to be a tough period ahead, uh, especially uh, for schools now. They have to ensure that uh, they cover the lost uh, time. And uh, going forward, uh, what do you expect uh, going forward as uh, one of the dealers uh, who are benefiting uh, from uh, the learning institutions in the country? Well, uh, we're hoping for the best. Uh, we are trusting God that um, we're going to beat this thing. Uh, we've got very high hopes. You know that we're gonna overcome this. Uh, we're gonna take the right precautions, the right measures. You know, just to make sure everybody's safe. Uh, wearing masks, sanitizing. You know, and uh, we can do this. Uh, also, thank for the the government for the measures they have taken. You know, uh, uh, I really recommend our government. I mean, they have really, really tried their best to 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 protect our kids, and and that's a kudos. To our government so well uh, we have to do we have to, what we have to do to make sure that everything gets back to normal and and we uh, lives are preserved and that's the best way to go right thank you so much for your time we'll allow you to go back uh, to your workstation to continue attending uh, to the parents and uh, the guardians so and yeah thank you so much thank you sir all right